A lot of people are still going to uh, have gone home, huh? A lot of people here. How, how long do you stay here? You want to camp out here? <laughs> yeah. How, how was it last night? Everything okay? Yes. How are you sleep? Yes. Yes. <laughs> It's nearer for you, but it's not true. If I stay in England, it would be nearer for you. <laughs> no, actually, from here to England, maybe eight hours. Yeah, and from where you are to Taiwan, nine hours. Some will say, maybe nine, ten hours. Huh? It's not much difference. Huh? Some people came from uh, other state of America. It take longer, no? <laughs> so it's never near enough. Huh? Never. Mm. So what are we going to do? <laughs> huh? Or get initiation, don't eat, don't drink, go die, and then go up to heaven, live together forever. <laughs> yeah? You like that? Oh, we can do it today. How about that? <laughs> no? <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> you always say a lot of things, and when it comes to real, really doing it, you say, no, no, no. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Just like want to be residents and this and others, and you know, I do anything. I do anything. Yeah, I just want to be a monk. Be a monk. What kind of monkey? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the Chinese people when they speak uh, English, you know, that kind of heavy accent, monkey. <laughs> 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 monkey. <laughs> I don't like, you know, so, monkey. <laughs> so, maybe you want to be a monkey, huh? <laughs> the other day, you know, <laughs> one of my attendants, he told the other guy, please tell, you know, his name is Dave, the other one is Dave, tell Dave to come here. But he talked like, tell David to come here, tell Davy, 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 Davy to come, tell Davy to come here. And that guy don't hear <laughs> clearly, he said, what, what? And I said, Davy. And then the other guy, <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> and then <laughs> one of the disciples will keep waiting so long. Where's David? Oh, who? What do you mean? He's coming. <laughs> I said, why? Why is he not here? I said, well, we have to go over there and then take the RV to come here because Davi, 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 because Dave, because Davi. <laughs> one is English. Chinese English, one is Mexican English, <laughs> both understood perfectly well. Anyway, for an hour, and then the other guy come drive the RV to <laughs> to the, my kitchen. <laughs> Davy, you know, but he cannot hear the RV <laughs> drive the whole RV to the kitchen. <laughs> Just like kiss me, please, you know. <laughs> Remember that. Excuse me, please. I always say, kiss me, please, or kill me, kill me, please. <laughs> Execute me, please. <laughs> well, why, why do we go so far? What did, what did we say before? What was it before? Huh? 
monkey. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so before you came, you promised everything, you know. Uh, I do everything. I don't care, I don't care. I don't need eat, I don't need drink. I just want to be here. And afterward, oh, this toilet no good, this house too small, that place too hard. I want upstairs. I don't want downstairs. I want downstairs, I don't want upstairs. <laughs> uh, too much trouble. Mm. The mind is always making trouble for us. You know, when we give it something, it wants something else. Right? That's why when you go to to meditate, you know, sit meditation, it's always yab, 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 like this bird, you know. <laughs> oh, we talk, talk, talk. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, she was stamping the feet. Sorry, I just kidding, kidding, no offense. And you are a great being. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I shouldn't have said like this bird. Oh, <laughs> temper. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you know, so whenever we sit in meditation, the mind keeps telling us this and that, you know, and then a lot of time. And I want you to go do this, do that, and after you do that, it goes want to do something else, you know. It's always run around, around, around in the world as if you have the whole eternity to live here, you know. But in fact, we have only a very short time. Can you imagine how short it is? You were so young, you know, not long ago, so, so small, yeah? And then it just. Look like a blink of an eye. You already old like me. <laughs> yeah, I told you my hair has already turned gray, two thirds of it. So I might as well make another one third, you know, to accompany the other two, <laughs> so they have company. <laughs> yeah, I don't like too many color. Actually, I told him just make it all white like the the rest. But she said, no, no, it's not nice. This is better color. I make this better color for you. I said, what kind of color is this? She said, it's golden ginger. You know, it's, it's very popular right now. I said, ginger. Yeah. I said, it looks like ginger ale to me. <laughs> ginger. <laughs> and she said, oh, it's, it's gold, you know. <laughs> it looks like gold, gold, gold plate, you know. Uh, do, does it look like gold to you? Yes, it does. What do you call it, golden color? Yeah. So I'm a golden girl now. <laughs> Rich people <laughs> even have gold in hair. <laughs> in German, in Germany, they have a saying: say uh, Morgen Stun uh, had had gold in, gold gold in Mund. It means in the morning uh, there is gold in the mouth. Yeah, so that means you have to get up early. Yeah, if you get up early, do your job right, then you will earn a lot of money. That's what it means. Yes, but when it translated, you know, in Chinese, <laughs> using computer, it's very funny. It says something like, uh, uh, "To breakfast, blonde, blonde teeth, <laughs> gold, <laughs> blonde teeth." <laughs> Maybe the Chinese think that you know the German people are blonde. So the teeth should also match. You know? <laughs> Sometimes translation is very, very funny. <laughs> Just like, for example, you know, massage. In 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 <laughs> in English is massage. And because the Chinese they say it heavily accent. Just like just like now I told you. Devi, Devi, you know, Devi, you know, so the RV came to his house. Oh, uh, kill me, please, you know. <laughs> anyway, they say something uh, like, Masachi, uh, Masachi. That become like Masachi. Masachi yeah. means the horse kill the chicken. <laughs> it's very funny. And uh, also, <laughs> like uh, Newton, you know, Newton? One of the great scientists in in in, in Chinese, he's become Newton. Yeah. 
and it doesn't mean the very stupid cow. <laughs> It sounds like that, yeah. <laughs> Newton, eh? Become Newton. <laughs> Stupid cow, poor, poor Newton. <laughs> if only he knew what he's, what he's called in Chinese. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah? Say hello or not? Hello. Hello. No. Okay. <laughs> when I first got her, I, I, I'm not sure whether I should have it, you know, because she looks so pitiful. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I just, I wasn't sure. So I say, when she was staying there, you know, because uh, they took her out of the crate and put her on the table, so she didn't want to talk to anybody, just. She just lay flat there, hiding herself. And so, oh, I think I don't think she likes me. I think she. I don't think I have. I don't think I should take her home. I don't think I have karma with her. I. I think forget it. And she put her head up. Look at me. <laughs> and I said, What? Are you ready to go home with me? And then she took, 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 come to my hand right away. <laughs> That's how she ends up here. <laughs> She was laying there sleeping, you know, don't care, don't talk, nothing. For like half an hour, you know, on the table, don't talk to nobody. Mm. <laughs> you like to go home, do you? Huh? You yeah. did, huh? That's how you came here, you know? She can dance. can dance and sing and talk and scold people. Mm. <laughs> I have the other one. Whenever the dogs bark or something, she said, Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Be quiet! <laughs> if they still don't listen, she scream, Ah! <laughs> My God! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean you. <laughs> you don't have to learn that. That's a bad thing to do. <laughs> mm. Huh? What? You like that? You like the bird, yeah? Be careful, but these birds are too... are not good for children to handle. For children, very small birds, better. Because they can pick you if you don't know how. You have to handle and be the boss. <laughs> So for children, just touch is even already, you know, <laughs> provocative. But this is friendly. Uh, when I'm around, okay. When I'm not around, maybe not. <coughs> Don't want to listen. Yeah. Very strong character. <laughs> the other one are even worse, bigger, stronger. Stronger, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is repeat sometimes after me and learning all kind of nonsense talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she. So she, I think. No, no, no. But uh, sometimes if she back and I don't take her out, then she will. She will complain. <laughs> But normally not very happy. You think he's us? He's happy? Why are you asking me? Human beings uh, always complain in uh -huh. some case. Yeah. But how about uh, our uh, friends? Uh, well, they, they do complain if they don't have yeah. enough attention and food. Love and food is all they need. <laughs> Otherwise, they, they're happy. And even if they complain, if you tell them no, it's, it's okay. They're quiet. But human, they're going on and on in their mind, you know, even if they don't talk to you, they blah, blah inside, you know, and it bugs you so much and makes you feel terrible. But animals, they're more simple, they're more present minded, you know, always here and now, always happy. So it's always new. Yeah. Like, uh, 
you know, like you just call them, and later you love them. They forgot already, or they wag their tails immediately. Yeah, there's no rushing, you know, no judging you, no judgmental. They're always happy to be around you, very loyal, very good. They're more simple. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. What is it? What is it? What did I do? Huh? What did I do? Come here. Ah, pick another one. Another food. Uh, is he shy? The people. Any more question, guys? You want to stay longer? How many? Raise hand. Half, huh? A little bit. A few. Okay. Whoever can stay, just stay around. Anything else? What I mean is anyone could come and, you know, stay, you know, as long as you can afford. Or also, if you like to, it's like an open house. Okay? Yeah. And if you see me, it's fine. If you know where I am, you can go there and stay for a while. Uh, right now I'm here. Eh? And uh, only if, if the, you want to come and see me like that eh? for a long time. Otherwise, you could still go come and go anywhere you want or stay anywhere as long as you don't trouble people. Eh? Take care of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <笑>可以啊 明天还在来他来干嘛他来看师父看我干嘛他来看师父他来干嘛他来看师父他来干嘛他来看师父他来干嘛他来看师父他来干嘛他来看师父他来干嘛他来看师父他来干嘛他来看师父他来干嘛他
show off. <laughs> so young and show off already. Not train, nothing yet, nothing. Just eat, sleep, train herself. Very clever word. You are a good boy, say. Say, I'm a good girl. Say it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> she says she doesn't want it. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> what is so funny, huh? You're not laughing at me, no? <laughs> now she shut up. <laughs> That's funny word. Na cha li mei zuo shi ma. Ha ru guo zhen de yao yao xiu xin jiu yin xin ma. Ha? Yao kan ren de hua, wo mei kong la. Wo bu shi pai gei da jia kan de. Ding dong mei you? Bu shi shuo bu you shan de, jiu lai kan yi jiu shen me la, jiu shen me. Ha? 要修行就来嘛，哈、啊！要修行不要看 ，OK？ 人不是动物，是是物东西，不是 shopping 呢？去看，看看怎么样？再说，<笑>看便宜啊，啊，看人便宜。OK？ 嗯 ，Yes。We have a convenient method practitioner. He,、嗯、his wife, um.、Yeah. Can be can get initiation、What? beginning of July,、mm -hmm. and he's asking if、um, he can get special permission、um, to be able to get initiation with his wife. But he's not; he won't be able to be three full month vegetarian beginning of July. He Where will, is he? he? He's in Michigan. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's all right. Okay. Um, what one more, <laughs> one more request?、Um, I, I made a mistake. I I told him he prob he can drink under five if the、uh, alcohol is under five percent. No, zero point five. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Master. Would you forgive me? It's okay. If he tell him again. Okay, I will. Thank you, Master. <laughs> five percent, you. <laughs> <laughs> Zero point five or zero point three, something like that. It's like it's like bread. Inside the bread, you have this must、uh, alcoholic kind of yeast. You know, it it brew up and also have some percentage of、uh, you know brewery taste. <laughs> When it's a non-alcoholic, then it's you know usually not much already, almost nothing. You wanna go up? Why don't you be quiet? <laughs> Complaining? Are you talking? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Entertaining. All right, you are the star, hey? Go ahead. Go ahead. Move it. Do something. <laughs> huh? Wanna come to the microphone? Get the microphone. Do something. Hmm. Hmm.、Oh, you want attention, don't you? Okay, then come over here. Worry too many people, and then you don't have enough love. That's what it is. Oh, it's enough love for everyone, including you. You're small. You don't need much. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And now you okay?、Mm. Yeah, very worried. Too many people. How much love do I have left over? <laughs> Normally, master alone, you know, in the house, all for myself. And now look, so many sitting there. Yeah, what have I? What am I going to get <laughs> after this? <laughs> well, plenty, always plenty love. Okay, see. 
See how much love? An extra. You see, these are the love you have, not the love you will lose. Stupid bird. <laughs> oh, these are the Buddhas. Eh? And they think they are the Buddhas anyway, at least. <laughs> so you're blessed. Eh? Don't worry so much. Oh. See, you okay now, eh? Hey? Feel good now? Feel better? Huh? Feel good? Yeah, you do? Mm. No, 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 not that one. Not that one, no. I need that. <laughs> Thirty. They like button. Soon I don't have any left, eh, if you do that. You want to talk in there? Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> okay, okay. Just want to introduce you to our big family. Now you know it, okay? I'll be quiet for a while. Sit there. Thank you very much. Good day. Just today, okay? Not every day like this. And then you get used to it. And then you want to go to every lecture and then we'll be in problem. <laughs> <laughs> anything else, guys? You come so long way, you don't want to ask anything? Oh, Master? Huh? Uh, I have a question. It's just like uh, regarding how to balance uh, your normal life and uh, your meditation. Like when, when I first got initiated, like for the first three months, I just don't want to watch any TV, read any like books, novels, anything like that. But uh, after a while, sometimes, you know, I, I want to watch TV yes. and about read some books. Yes. And then sometimes, you know, after you watch TV for a while, you don't feel good. You feel like, you know, you kind of... Lost that, something? Yeah, lost something. Like that, kind of like that, the TV program like bring you down. Oh, so level I, go down. <laughs> yeah, then you have to like uh, you know try to struggle to to like to rise up. Mm. But then sometimes you want to go back to more TV. Normal again. life. Yeah. yeah. So I just don't know how you can like balance or or you have to can make like determination just to just you know forget about the TVs or or all other books. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it will come. You know, sometimes you don't like it. Most of the time you don't like it. If you want to watch it now and again, it's okay. Just control yourself, you know. Watch it to a certain extent only, you know. Just tell yourself, tell your mind, huh? okay. If you want to watch TV, you meditate three hours, four hours first, you know, thing like that. And you exchange, you know. <laughs> then it's okay, yeah? Like reward yourself. You say, okay, you tell yourself, tell your mind, because he likes to do those kind of things. Watch TV. Uh, you know, read kind of all kind of nonsense books, go out, do things. But it's okay. It's also relaxing, yeah. But of course, uh, when you download yourself <laughs> with different stuff from this world, then uh, you have to bear the consequence. Just like your computer, if you're downloading things and it's in there, no? Okay. Uh, so you have to meditate a little bit more, 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 eh? to clean it. So, but the mind sometimes uh, feel not satisfied if you don't give him what he wants. So you tell him, okay, if you meditate well for six hours or something, then I will give you the new film, yeah, or, or one hour TV. That's a reward, yeah, for yourself. Then it seems like fun, you know. Meditation is like fun. You, you sit there, okay, I'm gonna watch movies <laughs> afterward. <laughs> Just like kid, you know. The mind is sometimes like kid. It wants a lot of things, so you give him something to look forward to, then he can sit good. No? This okay? It's a balance, all right? Yeah. Some people are very sensitive if they watch TV or you know read newspapers and all that. You know they get feel very heavy afterward. Of course, what do you think? Everything from this world has energy, and some are good energy, some are not good energy. Mm? One of the uh, sister in Japan, uh, she said, she asked me a question. You know, like every time she watch TV or she even listen to the phone to somebody she doesn't even know, her she vomit afterward. Yeah. So some people are real sensitive. <laughs> you can feel the difference also, eh? But I cannot tell you. Don't watch TV. Don't read newspapers. Just do it less, less frequent than before than before, and have a selective, uh, selective program. 
yeah, something that is uh, educational for you, and also fun to watch, without feeling very uh, depleted or influenced, bad influence afterward. You know, like for example, sometimes too much violence in the movies. You know, make you feel very restless at night, very fearful, sleep not peacefully. Yeah. So even you can't sleep peacefully, how would you meditate peacefully? You understand? Yeah. So that's why we cut out as much as we can. Hmm? Even if ordinary people without meditation, you should not also, you know, waste all your time watching no nonsense. There's some program are very educational. This is good for you. Hmm? I sometimes watch it too. <laughs> rarely though, rarely. I don't know how long since I watch T V. <laughs> I watched it once when I first came here because of the fire or something. And that was like I don't know, a month ago. <laughs> and before that I don't know how many months I didn't watch anything. I don't know, I don't, I just don't. Sometimes I don't even know the T V exists. I forgot. And I have a car, a jeep also, put right in front of my house for me to use, but I forgot it exists too. <laughs> Every time I use, I just call and say, Oh, pick me up. And then I go on there, you know, broken cars, or fifth hand, sixth hand car, always forgotten. And because I, because I went to look for land, you know, I thought, I'm, I thought we need a bigger land, you know, so. Because you keep always bugging me, can I come live with you and all that, you know, so I think. If if we have a bigger land, everyone can come, you know, with an RV or something, live there for a while, you know, if you like to, like vacation. Eh? By the way, eh? go for vacation and by the way, have a look at the master, just by the way. <laughs> so I've been all over looking for, for many weeks. Eh? And in some land are very difficult to go in. You have to walk with boots and there are water, mud and saw grass and things like that. Be quiet. Mm. So uh, they say, oh, this car you cannot go in. Uh, you better, if, if we have a jeep, it would be better. You know, the agent told me, I said, ah, I have a jeep. Yeah. <laughs> she said, okay, why didn't you bring it next? I said, next time. Next time I forgot again. <laughs> it's parked right in front of my door. It's not like somewhere far away. It's no garage or nothing. Just in an open port, you know, car port, very easy. Every time I walk out the door, the car is right there. How can I don't see it? <laughs> and I forgot again. And I go with a broken car again, you know, so short, you know, long song. My say what? The car has no muscle, you know. <laughs> I don't know, fifth hand or whatever, they buy it for a few thousand dollars, just run around shopping you know, around here. You know. I forgot again. <laughs> so sometimes we cannot go in, and we have to walk in, you know, very, some very uh, dangerous place. Some are not very good. Good way to walk. There's no road or nothing, because if some place is already established and road and big, then it's too expensive to even think of it. Uh, so that's all. That's, that's that's what I'm telling you. You know, don't worry. In one state of your life, you we just don't know what it is anymore. What is television? Or. It's right in front of me every day. You know, they put a television wherever I am. You know, with cable and everything. I just don't. Remember that it exists there. Just now and again, for any, I don't know, for some particular reason why somebody mentions something in the news and says, Ah, news? Oh, TV, we have one. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> something like that. Then I just look for, you know, for a while. And sometimes, if it's a good movie, there, by the way, you know, then continue to look. Kids' program, you know, I like Disney Channel, you know. <laughs> a lot of old films that we didn't see. Those animal films, those family entertainment films, I like them sometimes. But only if I remember that the television exists, then these things can happen. Otherwise, I forgot. Yeah, and I have so many CD, video, or CD, and what what tapes and everything. Okay, I don't ever listen. Just whenever you come, and sometimes. I remember in Maoli, you know, the first time when you brought a lot of music and all the Vietnamese the people there, and I have a CD player in my golf car, you know, they installed it for me. And then I put it there whenever I go down the mountain, so people know I'm coming. <laughs> in case they're doing something bad, they better stop it. 
You know, it's like a warning, you know. I'm here, beep beep. <laughs> Just like the, the radar alarm for the police. <laughs> and so for the Vietnamese also to listen. Huh? But other than that, when I'm alone, I, I don't ever hardly remember listening to anything by myself. Yeah, when some Vietnamese come to my place and I make it for them, and it sounds nice. I say, my God, I should listen more often. It's so lovely. <laughs> but next day I forgot again. <laughs> I have so many things. Some people give to me a lot of CDs and music, you know, also. I forgot. I don't even need them. I don't think of them anymore. Hmm? But uh, when I live in the city, sometimes next to a movie theater and all that, you know, or you go traveling and... Uh, the hotel is so small and so dark, and sometimes nothing to do, waiting for the next lecture and all that. And they say, oh, let's go see movies, Master. I say, okay, you know, some nice film, you know, I'll go to the beach or whatever. Yeah. So I think uh, you shouldn't worry too much, you know. It's just my experience. Yeah. In the beginning, you still like this and that. Later, you don't like. But then you fall back again, now and again. It's no big deal. It's not the end of the world, okay? But enjoy the good one, so that you also can, uh, you know, have something out of it. Educate your mind instead of let the mind crowd it with all kind of uh, stuff that is not good for your well-being. You know, the scientist has proven, I don't know, somewhere it's printed on a newspaper. If you can believe a newspaper, it's okay. It has said that, uh, according to research, any violent film or sad film aggravate your illness or your sadness. If you happen to be ill at that time of watching that sad movies, you know, or tragedy movies, then your, your illness becomes worse immediately. Yeah, they measure and then they say like that. <laughs> so, the, the movies affect you, affect you very much. Eh? So watch uh, the one that's good for you, that's all. Okay? I don't forbid anything. I'm just telling you the less the better for you. That is because you want to meditate more, you want to more calm down. <laughs> you can only calm down, you can only think less when you don't have anything reminding you. You see what I mean? For example, yesterday, remember some of the sisters say if she has quarrel with her husband, she would like, be upset for three, four days. Yeah. Remember? Mm -hmm. Because you cannot forget so quick. Yeah. So if you go in a mountain or very remote area after a while and nothing to remind you of the ordinary life or the old life, then you also forget. After a while, you don't think too much. You don't have too much upset or sorrow. And that's why we have retreats sometimes, you see? So that nothing else reminds you of anything else. <laughs> Every day, just you are reminded of meditation, of God, of your inner uh, kingdom, and so that's how it goes. See what I mean? Yeah. That's why, of course, uh, if you go into the mountain and you have a good method, and you're already ready, you know, like to f put down everything, uh, then the mountain can help. Not before that. Yeah. It does help to stay in a quiet place, though. But you have to want it first, <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah, you have to want it first. Because at that time you're ready. I mean, you had enough with, you know, noisy, busy life. Yeah, so you're okay. Otherwise, just you think if you go in the mountain and you become a better person, it, it cannot, cannot like that. Just like if you don't fall in love and you want to marry, and then it will work out somehow. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's not like that. You see what I mean? You have to be ready first. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hi, Master. Um, the virtue, the personality, has something to do with the virtue of of, of enlightenment. Like you have a uh, virtue of uh, being very, um, uh, very simple and very um, humble. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw. I your, told you just as a joke. <laughs> no, I saw your tape when you first came out from the Himalayas when uh -huh. you like 1989, 1990. Yeah, you were very humble, Master. Yeah, and, and now I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm even more humble. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm kidding. 
Yesterday, when I say I'm the most humble person in the world, you must know is that <laughs> the lousy joke. Who, who is the humble person who boasts that she's the humblest, the most humble person in the whole world? <laughs> so my question come back is, like, you're born with it. So it's when the person wants to be enlightened and they can't be humble, there's what, they ca what can they do to change the personality of this lifetime? Because that's really hold you back a lot. Oh. You can meditate all day, all night, but you're not really self-realized. Like, what you understand? It, it's like I know I don't have one humble bone in my body, and I want to be. I just I can look at everyone; they all the same level to me, mm. and so that means I'm the same as as my friend, and I I think I'm the same as you are. So it's it's almost like impossible to have the humbleness that you have when I saw your tape. And I discussed this with Sima this morning. I said, you know, uh, I look at all the masters now and, and in the past and learn their lessons. And I look, everyone has that virtue. And it seemed to me that you we born to pick that personality. Just so, so just like seemed like a destiny, not uh, a free will and not free will. It's like, it seemed like paradox. It's just like you were born to be like a master. So you pick the personality to have that. Just oh, God gives I don't you. know. I don't know <laughs> what. Oh, I don't know if I'm that humble. Well, I can be. You, you were. You were a very humble master. I mean, were? <laughs> I mean, right, right, right now, I... <laughs> right, right now, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, not sure, huh? <laughs> right now, I, I know that you're very confident right now, uh -huh. and I think... Uh, I'm not, not sure. Not too humble. <laughs> <laughs> He's, she, I think she's mad at me. World. Yeah. America. They say what they want, okay? All right. In America, people say what they want. Oh, be careful, be careful. Okay. She's a Buddha. Bad to be angry at a Buddha. Uh -huh. oh. Oh, temper, temper, temper. Actually, the humility of the people sometimes difficult to to discern. Yeah, also within yourself. Yeah, unless you have the the chance to test against it. Yeah, because it come in different situation and come in a very unexpected situation. It's not like you could show it, you know, or realize that you're humble. <laughs> yeah, I'm humiliated many times, but it's just like I don't act. I always look at the situation and say, I, I walk away from it. Uh, well, uh, that's different. Yeah. But uh, that's not it. That's not, that's not that you're not humble. Some situation, you just walk away because it's natural reaction, yeah? Mm. But when, uh, when it really comes to real test, if you have to be humble, then you will know. Yeah? Okay. I also don't know if I'm humble or not. <laughs> I just, I'm just me. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, whatever that is. She just tried to pay respect. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Um, yeah, in many situations, you know, sometimes, sometimes I do realize that I have a little humility, you know, because after all, I'm the supreme master, and if I do this and that, and I'm supposed to be humble then, you know. But who cares? Yeah. Humility you have or you don't have, you know, and God knows, okay? God knows. Sometimes because you walk out of a situation doesn't mean you're not humble. Sometimes you stay there and bear it doesn't mean you are humble. Some people just react differently, you know, due to habit. Like if somebody scolds you since a kid, you don't like noise, you don't like anger, you don't like to see violence or anger, so you just walk out because you run away. And then uh, you became, it became a habit. Eh? It doesn't mean that uh, you're not humble. Yeah? yeah, 
And some people, they just uh, don't care about that, so they just stay on. That doesn't mean they are humble. Yeah, All right? Very true, Master. Yes. Yeah. Because sometimes, you see, it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. You don't need to prove your humility by staying in there. That's very true. That's yes, very you just walk, just natural reaction. You do what you think is right, that's it. Yeah. That doesn't mean you're not humble, okay? Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, can I have another question? Yeah, sure. Um, your inner master, um, when you initiate all of us, I just feel that I talked to a lot of initiate and they saw your vision in, in their uh, in me in, uh, meditation. Yes. And I have this thing feeling that my inner master is not the same. Oh, not as me. You. Okay. Yeah. Right. But, but, but then I see you sometimes, master. Uh, I understand. Uh, yeah. So, so when you awaken us, is each one of us has an inner master, or, or you assign your inner master to us, or how uh, can you talk about that? If you are initiated by yes. a master, then he or she is responsible for you. Oh, yeah. so the inner master would it's you? Yes, it's, it's your inner master. Yes, but there are many other masters too who are helping, by the way, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. For example, thank you. For example, sometimes uh, Jesus appears in in front of someone who is Christian to tell him to come to find such and such master, the living master, yes. But that means Jesus also helping, yeah, from inside. Yeah. And later after that person got initiated, maybe Jesus still appear again. Mm. Or for example, I give you initiation, but I told you also that maybe inside you will encounter past or future master, such as Jesus, Buddha, and if they're real, you prove them. And then if they teach, give you some teaching, uh, yeah, you accept if they're real. Remember that? Oh, yeah. I never have a monopoly of any, <laughs> any yeah. kind. Yes. So maybe you feel more um, inclined toward an, uh, one, one or another of those masters which mm -hmm. appear inside to you. And that's perfectly okay. We all are one. We work together for your well-being. Mm -hmm. uh, no matter which one you pick, it's okay. But I'm just responsible for, for your journey home. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But you have other friends, no problem. Yeah. Can mm. I have another question? Sure, sure. Any question? Um, God, which I call the old man. Yeah. Uh, that's my. I, it's, it's a, okay. I love him very much. Uh -huh. um, do you communicate to him now, Master, or you communicate mostly to inner Master? Both. Both. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that understandable, yeah. Uh. So what, what would the old man say to you sometimes? Does he tell you what to do? Or? No. <laughs> I tell him what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Master? That's what I say to Seema sometimes. She just said that Gat should uh, pick the best job for her, and I told her she should tell him what you want, but he <laughs> always gives you what you want, and he... <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, you're just kidding? <laughs> no, well, it's, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like I'm separate from God and God is something else and God tell me what to do or I ask Him what to do. Yeah. We just know. I'm still separated, totally. Yeah. <laughs> like we just know, just as if my hand is doing something. I sometimes don't realize that my hand is doing something, but it's a part of me that that is doing it and it's, it's up to my will. You know, yeah. sometimes like I'm scratching, I don't actually knowing. While I'm talking to you, I don't actually know I'm scratching. Mm. Or my eyes are blinking. Yeah. But they all function according to my order. Of course, it's my body, you understand? Yes. Because the eyes and me are one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So similarly, mm. there's uh, in, in heaven, you know, <laughs> when you reach enlightenment, you do God's will, that's what people say. Yeah, but because you and God are one, or you become one with God, or God is one with you, there's no separation. Who tell whom what to do? Yeah, he's not. I'm still separate totally <laughs> from God. He oh. like like an a, a being to me. It's like you don't. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. It's fine too. Be true to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. How about out of body, master? When you uh, out of body? Yeah, You're like like to see the master in true. Like I'm seeing you, right, and yeah. see in in my inner eyes. Yes, I'm so longing to do that, and it's so it been a blockage, not able to do. Like seem like my body just so heavy, it doesn't want to come out of it. <laughs> you know, like you see the light. 
Yes. Okay, the light is a master too. It doesn't have to have a form. Okay? Yeah, I just wish I can see him or her like you, like sitting oh. right in front of me. The form <laughs> the form is just a form so that you recognize who your teacher is in case mm. you die and mm. she come take you. Yeah. Okay? You trust. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're my teacher, you're my friend and you're supposed to know all the way to heaven. Okay, I'm coming with you. Or else the angel of death will come and you will go in different direction. You see what I mean? Yes. Yes. Because uh, the master is the one responsible to take you back home. Yeah? yeah. And then you, you're grown up. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like most of the parents uh, nourish the children up to 18, 20, you know, 25, mm -hmm. things like that. 21. Yeah. And then they go out, have a family of their own. They're grown up. Sometimes yeah. they consult the parents, but uh, they're already able to take care of themselves. Like birds, when they are a certain age, the parents kick them out to fly, to be independent. Yeah? Okay. Uh, anyway, the, the light is the master. The sound is the master. Yeah? The love you feel is the master. Yeah, the love I feel. I, c I, I, I could not live without it. Yes, that, that's it. That's the master. Okay? Yeah. No need to be a form. <laughs> okay, sometimes people see form. Sometimes don't. It's all right. Yeah. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Love is most important. The inside love, the, f the love we feel every day from God. That's God. That's love. That's the Master. Eh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Who else? Over there. <coughs> um, going back to what she said, I was wondering because... Um, I don't see like a inner master, like a like a vision of mm. um, like a bodily form or something. Yeah. But then I don't believe that I have to see that too. Um, you don't have to. There. So I was you wondering if that's to. maybe a reason why I don't, because I don't feel that I need it or. Oh, you don't have to, of course. Uh, you don't have to. <laughs> Is that why I don't? Because I don't feel that I need it, or I don't see that. Maybe you don't right now. Maybe you will later. Mm? Okay. It doesn't matter as long as you progress, you feel loved, and you have love, you know, and you feel your life become better, more connected with God, in whichever way you chose to do, yeah. inside, mm -hmm. it's fine. The Master is there for someone who needs it, yeah? Some different level, you know? Isn't, uh, isn't it, though, isn't your own inner Master kind of like God, though, anyways? Because like a what? Like God. God? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you yeah. kind of created yourself, so you, the creator would be God and like... Mm, the inner master is God. Right, <laughs> uh, that's what I thought. Just take on, take on that form to guide you. Because sometimes without form, you would not know whom to talk to, whom to rely on, you know, how to converse and ask questions, things like that. Just but like we're human, we need it. Yeah? That's the only way that I feel good, is if I feel that that is the way that it is. And I feel that inside me, and then I feel like no matter what's happening, I feel like okay. Yes, yes. Like a part of everything. Yeah, then it's good. <laughs> That's good. People have different levels, you know. There's none two of them alike. Yeah, so don't worry about it. <laughs> yes. Not everybody has to see the master. No. Yeah. But in some in some uh, situation, in some like, most of the time in in, in emergency. <laughs> Right. The master appeared because at that time, that <laughs> yeah, nothing else helped. So the master appeared to comfort the disciple or take him out of situation, thing like that, out of hell, for example. <laughs> you seem to enjoy today, huh? It's cool after the rain, huh? It's good. You lucky people. Otherwise, it has been very hard for a long time here. Yeah, people thought that we have to wait until next year to have rain. Yeah, but it has been raining, you know, repeatedly around here. So you see all the trees are green again, you know, and the grass are green again. See that? Mm, it was brown and very dry when I first came here. I feel so sorry for the grass. I scold the rain god. <laughs> <coughs> I can't help it. I'm like that. I have my temper, just like 
<coughs> whomever, I should not mention the name. <laughs> Did I say your name or anything? Who? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I don't have anything for you here. I could have some. Is there any food around here? Fruit? No, no. no. <laughs> oh, no. This is a little bird. I cannot eat this. Bad food. Okay, okay. Get some food. Some, 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 some. I have all the <laughs> Okay, sure enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is too big. <laughs> you have a knife? A what? Banana. Uh, I don't know if she likes banana yet. She chose very picky. The other bird eats any fruit or vegetable. This one, picky, picky. Thanks. <laughs> I have dogs. Of, the, the dogs are very funny too. Okay, come in, come in, come in. Um, you know, I used to peel the apple for the dog, and whenever I'm lazy, I don't peel. They eat the inside and spit the, the peel out. <laughs> I thought dogs have big teeth, you know. So I don't need to, but they spit the pill. Here, madam. <laughs> okay? You better pick it yourself. Yeah. Pick it with your finger. Papa I'm here to talk, you know, not to feed you. <laughs> You better pick it with your finger. Come on. Come on, do it. Here. Remember how? I don't have time, baby. Come here. Oh, man. It's a baby. Oh, no, do it with your finger. Come on. Come on, pick it. Mm. She's still a baby, only six months, so... Oh, oh, so young and a big temple like that. Temple, here. Pick it, pick it with your hand. You know how. Come on, if you drop it. She drop again. Yeah. Very, very, uh, like, uh, fit me. <laughs> Anything else? Any more questions? Wanna meditate? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Explain about the Jesus. Explain about Jesus. Well, he went to India yeah. because uh, not uh, very much <laughs> we, books we can read about. Mm -hmm. Could you please explain a little bit why he needed to go and uh, did he have a, a disciples also? What, in this case, what he did? Thank you, Master. You don't know? I personally you don't, don't know. what know. Jesus did? I, I know, uh, just, uh, but not in Can India. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what he did? He break the bread and all that? <laughs> what does he break the bread for? He went to India because he wants initiation, no? He want to get the key. Oh, oh, I see. All right. Here, if you want to play, this is the one. Here. The pill. 
Oh. She knows the difference. <laughs> if you think animals are dumb, you better think again. They're very, very intelligent. They have the sharper sense of faculties, sharper faculties than we ever can imagine. Yeah, they have telepathy, they have intuition, they have the nose, for example, dog five hundred times sharper than us. You know, they have all the beautiful, you know, intact sense that we don't have. Yeah. Even when we talk to each other in the same language, we still don't understand each other. They understand just in here. Mm. And they're with God all the time. They can always contact God. We can't. Yes, ma'am. Jesus went to India because probably he was like us, like me, you know. You cannot born, be born enlightened. You are enlightened, but after you're born, you go through that ignorant door, you have to start again. That's why you be born as a human being. Anyone who born as human being forgot whatever he was, has to. It's just like that, okay? Mm. And then you start anew again. <coughs> you have to go somewhere. Shh, quiet. No. Oh, this is okay. Too salty, no? Maybe this one, okay. Now you can come over here. Yeah? And maybe have your lunch. Okay? Stand over there. Don't stand on here. It's plastic, okay? Don't. Mm, so, um, any master, even Buddha, Jesus, Moses, they all have to go and find a living master to, <laughs> to retransmit, you know, the knowledge that they have forgotten. Yeah? Mm. And then, uh, from then, they develop their own enlightenment, or they remember again. And then they can, uh, yeah, they go and meditate for a while so that they fully assimilate all the memories, and then they remember who they are, yeah. Mm -hmm. But not not before that. That's why he had to go to India. He could have gone anywhere else at that time if the master was in somewhere else. But probably at that time the master was in India. Understand? Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. What else about the disciple? Well, he just did what we're doing right now. It's like that. And the reason he go to some mountain and speak because at that time it's easier. A small mountain or a mount that they make for him and then he stand there so everybody can see him. Yeah? Just like whenever we gather, I sit a little higher so everyone can see. Yeah. Then they just transmit the same method that we are studying right now, that we are practicing. That's how it is. Okay, what else? Hmm? Uh, I am from your book. I am, I am distributed from your book. Jesus lived in India 120 years. Oh, until 120 years. Yeah, yeah. so uh, it's this supposed is to be like that. This period of mm. I am interested in. Yeah, oh, okay, period. okay. Uh, after he resurrected, right. you know, but don't tell anybody. Mm. He probably. The legion went on that he went to. He went to India and lived there. Mm. So this is, this is it's a, there is a tomb. Him and a small, smaller tomb. His disciple next to each other in Kashmir, and they say that belonged to Jesus. And it's, it's written in, uh, in uh, Hebrew language also that uh, something like uh, he just. Gustavus, something like that. And they still worship him there, the tomb. Yeah? So it was the real body, 120, yeah. Jesus' body. Yeah. Thank it's you supposed master. to be like that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, lady. Oh, to begin your. Come on, up. <coughs> yes, <coughs> another one. Are you happy now? Yeah, thank you. Uh. Anything else? <coughs> it's okay. 
Thank you very much. Oh, it's kind of hot now, guys. Huh? No. 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 <laughs> you don't want to go, huh? Yeah. Right. Okay. Look like all of you stay, no? Yeah. A lot. So how is the food and everything? Okay. Yeah. yeah. How about sleeping? Okay. Yeah. Everything okay? Somebody cook in the kitchen? Yeah. yeah. yeah? Some, Good. Some Good food? Yeah. Yeah. How many in the kitchen? Yeah, about ten. Oh, because I, I didn't eat any, anything yet. I don't know what food it is. <laughs> Normally they send it to, to me, but I probably <laughs> went too early. Mm. At twelve o'clock they send it. Sometimes I leave it there and eat it around four or something. Hey, hey, hey. What is it? Uh -huh. Oh, you haven't eaten yet also? Yeah. What time is it? Oh, it's about lunch time. Yeah, we should go eat, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lunch time, huh? lunch time. Uh -huh. Oh, 2 o'clock? Because it's late organization? When I like bakes, you know. <laughs> it's okay. You can. We can go eat together here. It's all right. Or in where? Where are you? We eating in yeah, in the hall? Yeah, yeah, let's let's go eat. Yeah. yeah, I also stay around eat with you. Okay. Yeah, I think you're great, huh? Oh, come on, baby, you are bad today. You don't eat, huh? You see me, you don't need food, right? Okay. <laughs> like you. Fancy master, don't need food. <laughs> so cool. Mm. Okay. Uh, he's still young, he don't, he don't, you know. Oh, very well. The other one, the hole in his hand, and he. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You are better.
you know, when I when I go around, yeah. when I go around alone, I don't do too much uh, makeup and I don't wear too much clothes and not not walking like a master, you know. Yeah. I'm very humble, more humble than this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I told the attendant, whoever around me, whoever asks, don't 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 call me master in front of the public, okay? Because <laughs> here we don't need. Just say sister or, you know, whoever, whatever friend. And if they ask you, just say you're my friend. And it's true too, I'm your friend. Yeah. It's not that we didn't lie. The best. Just in the world language, you call your master, you know, whatever. So just say we are friends or sister. You know, it's true. Both are true. I'm the biggest sister of the whole world. <laughs> Again, I'm very humble. I can tell you the humble truth. So I told them, okay, just say that you're my friend. Say yes. Yes, master. <laughs> oh, friend. And then later, somebody asked him, uh, what is she to you? Oh, uh, what are you to her? She looks so special. What are you to her? I'm a friend of my master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remind me of another joke, you know. There was a, a telephone to the school, and the teacher pick up the phone and say, hello, the teacher in the school, say, hello, uh, I'm the teacher, uh, William Smith, yeah, and uh, and there's come the voice from the other side saying, <clears throat> I j oh, teacher William Smith, I just want you to know that today, uh, Georgia Tommy cannot go to school. And the teacher say, uh, can I ask who is speaking, please? This is the voice of my father. <laughs> I'm a friend of my master. <laughs> Just like I told you, I don't, don't have to call me the Supreme Master Ching Hai anymore. They say, well, we still have to call you something, because just master, master, like every other master, you know, like woodsmith master, I'll say, carpenter master, you know. <laughs> so we have to call you something, master. I say, okay, just call Suma Ching Hai, it's okay. And then later we become the whole lot, you know. The Supreme Master Ching Hai, or the Supreme Master the Supreme Suma Wu Shang Shu <laughs> Master Ching Hai. <laughs> that thing is a new addition, <laughs> new title. You know. Suppose I'm not here, would you sit like this on the floor next to the, next to the shoes, of, stinking shoes of this gentleman? No. <laughs> She's sitting at your feet. Because I'm not here. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. She don't mind, I don't mind. <laughs> she forgot your stinking shoes already. She didn't see any shoes. <laughs> just like I don't see my car in front of my house. <laughs> There is a cartoon, there is a cartoon in the newspaper I read. It's very funny. Two drawing pictures, you know. So there was a two, two, two picture cartoon, you know. One side is drawing uh, the dog and one side drawing the cat. The, the side of the dog, it says, it says like this. The dog was thinking to himself, Oh, my master, she, she feed me. The master of the dog, eh? a dog thinks of himself, my owner, she, she feed me, she house me, she pet me, she pamper me, she spoil me, she took me to the doctors, and she loves me, and she cares for me in every way. She must be a god, as a dog thinking. And the other side of the picture of the cat, the cat was thinking to himself too, oh, the, my owner. She housed me, she feeds me, she pet me, she took me to doctor. She gave me a home. She cared for me in every way possible. I must be a god. <laughs> 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 so
all the same if you spoil <laughs> your man too much, he thinks he's a god. <laughs> and that's how it happened up till now, you know? So the man took over the power and then began to spread his rumor and power and everything and suppressing women up till now. So everybody believes the woman is inferior and this is bad. <laughs> Even in dog's kingdom, for example, animal kingdom, for example, dog, the dog female mature quicker than the dog male, the male dog. The dog female may be uh, six months, eight months, eight months or something mature already. The male dog, two years. Oh, that's what they read, write in the book. Take two years to mature. Mm. And in Vietnam, we say, uh, Nữ thập tam, nam thập lục á. Yeah. Means that when the, when the girl is 13, she's already a girl. You know, she's ready for many things that a girl could do. But the man must be 16. Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> they all know this, but they don't do it. <laughs> yeah, they must be a god. <laughs> Men must be a god. Because the way women worship them, you know, and also, oh, we have some pinky here, nice. Can I use it? <laughs> wow, I must be a god. <laughs> Everybody take care of me, feed me, house me, worship me, I must be a god. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, guys, no offense, eh? <laughs> Scientific fact only, okay? Scientific. <laughs> and um, in some, uh, uh, in some, uh, uh, I don't know, I read it somewhere in a newspaper. They have discovered that in the old time, actually, it's the woman who went out to bring food into the family. Yeah, they have drawing and everything to predict, uh, to that uh, depict, depict these scenes that the women are the one, the werewolves, the one who go out with spears and hunt and all that and bring food home, and men just stay home. So they say, men, <laughs> <laughs> cavemen used to be cow's potato too. That's, <laughs> that's the title or something. Yeah, cavemen used to be. Couch potato too, so it's in your gene. <laughs> be happy that you have a couch potato father. <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> Can you imagine if it's not a couch potato? Hmm? <laughs> Could be a couch what? Turtle, huh? <laughs> potato, turtle. We, we are born equal, you know, equal, the soul-wise. But the faculty-wise, we are different, yeah? That's why women have a different emotion, and men, men are more mechanic, yeah? Women are more emotional, yeah? But after you practice quantum method, both of you are almost equal, you know, like because you will get in touch with your feminine side too, and the woman in touch with her masculine side, so we feel more balanced now. Don't you feel more balanced? Yeah. Yes. So even men here, he could cry, and we feel normal. <laughs> yeah. And some even say he's not normal if he doesn't cry, you know, <laughs> here. So we, we feel natural to do anything, express yourself without feeling embarrassed or without feeling that you're not macho, right? So that's because you have become uh, balanced within yourself. Yeah, the yin yang within yourself have both developed nicely together. Yeah. So you see, men, most of you became softer, yeah? and women became more confident. <laughs> yeah, no? Yes. yes. But sometimes parrots, they can speak a lot. <laughs> On mine, you can say, shut up. If it's too loud, or people talk a lot, they say, shut up. Yeah, be quiet <laughs> and talk a lot of other string I don't understand. <laughs> talk long, 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 wow, lecturing, you know. 
And this guy, funny dogs. <laughs> Pick up. You can see how funny she is. It's only a kid. Yeah. She's only six months. But she can feed herself, she can walk, she can fly, you know. Because they cut her wings and she couldn't fly right now. Oh. And later I let it grow. But she can do everything that we human at six months are never dream of capable to do. Yeah. Because animals they they're more blessed, you know. So they live very naturally, easy with the natural provision. And we always forever <laughs> hoarding and keeping things and worrying about tomorrow. So we are blocked of so many uh, hidden abilities and power. That's why we have to quiet down, you know, a few hours a day at least, to reconnect with that power, to remember that power. Yeah? Bird, dog, these animals, they don't worry too much about tomorrow. Yeah? They eat and they just do whatever. Whatever is there, they eat and then they go sleep. <laughs> That's why they're mostly connected with God at all times. Any time they can connect with God. That's why they know a lot of things. That's why they can see things we don't even see. They sense things that we don't sense. We have intuition, they have intuition that we can only dream of. And their faculties are much, oh, multiple times sharper than ours. Yet a human look down upon animal and thinking they are bad, they're stupid and all that. It's we who are stupid. <laughs> They could laugh at us sometimes. <laughs> she was probably laughing at some of you, I don't know, do something, picking or some funny thing. When she sees some funny things, she laughs like that. <laughs> String of laughter, you know. And we think it's no reason. She pick up something and she just laugh and laugh. You know, rolling out. <laughs> so funny bird. This one. It's very intelligent, but she doesn't speak as much as the other kind of parrot called grey parrot, the most accomplished. And they even understand what they're talking about. It's not just repeating, extremely intelligent. But you have to have time to train them too, not like… Just like us, even, we have to train to understand what we say. Also, eh? not only to speak English, but to understand what we're speaking. Yeah, they can. And of course, they can do a lot of circus stuff, you know, all of the parrot, they dance and all that. Did you watch Polly? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it could be very real, <laughs> not exaggerated like that, but I know a lot of things. I have a, a list of recommendations. They, they didn't type it and give it to you yet. I already gave it to them a long time, probably forgotten. Huh? I know, but I have new one, new, new list. <laughs> they haven't typed it and given it to you yet. I think I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Sometimes I happen to chance a good movie, so I keep collecting them. <laughs> or somebody recommend me, like, this one is good, and I look. Yeah. Or I read in sometimes newspaper while on the plane, they say, this movie is good. Sometimes in the airplane they show some movies. I, uh, I could not watch it because it's right in front of me. Yeah. Unless you sleep or meditate, it's right in front of you all the time. So you have to watch it. And then sometimes it happens, it's good, so I know it. And I keep note it down in case you like to see them. Yeah. But we don't have to really, you know, if we like to. Sometimes I feel we don't have enough time for meditation. You know? Work and feeding kids or dogs or cats, whatever, and then not much time left. Yeah. But it's okay as long as you meditate eh? and intend on God. God knows it. Hmm. Okay, guys, this is for lunch break now. Hmm? Have, go have a rest under the tree or something. You didn't bring your hammer? <laughs> Hanging? No. <laughs> oh, you could have, because you know we have trees here. Oh, wherever you go with trees, you bring the hammock, you could rest forever. Very simple, you see? Yeah, it's very, very convenient for you. There are also some hammock with 
you can hang on a hook, hook on a tree instead of, of uh, how to say, binding on trees. There are also some with hooks or with chain, you know. You throw on there and you're hanging around here. That's cool. These things are convenient and don't take much space. You should live in your car at all times. A spare one. <laughs> and then wherever you go, uh, you know, whenever you, you go, like there's a tree place, if you go picnic or something, just hang them. Hang them on a the tree next to you know, bring extra string in case. Yes, they don't take much space, you know, just about a handful. But that can give you a rest for a long time, very convenient, very peaceful. You can sit on it, you can read books or lay, you can sleep, you can chat with each other, you know, while swinging. It feels cool. <laughs> I was born with it, you know, grown up with it, so I know what it's like. <laughs> but funny, some people don't even know what it is, don't know how. When I first came to Taiwan, I introduced this, <laughs> and uh, many monks fall out from fall out from the, <laughs> the hammock because they don't know how to balance. <laughs> They're so scared to go up, go on the hammock. I said, "My God, it's a harmless thing." I said, "Oh, what if I fall out?" I said, "Why well, you try?" And then you know. And then really, he did fell out. And later on, they they know it, and then they're hooked. Oh, love is almost every day. Hang on in there at least a few hours. <laughs> yeah, feels so good. Because when you hang in the, those hammocks, it's airy for your back too. It's not like when you lay on the bed. Yeah. So it feels cool from all sides. Yeah. Okay, see you maybe later if you're still around. Yes. You're still around? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Can you sit down and let me see who's not here, please? <laughs> I can't see if you stand up. Just, just not on the floor, just kind of. Lower down a little so because you know I'm very tall. <laughs> if if you stand up I cannot see you. I'm too tall. Too tall for you. Okay, sorry. Uh, uh, okay. I wanna we see somebody and ask something. That's why. Where are everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20, 25 of us from San Jose Center leaving half hour, Master. Oh, yeah? yeah. Leaving half hour. Oh, okay, yeah, so say goodbye. Lucky you see you today. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> You're leaving only 20 minutes, not yeah. half hour. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on again. It's, it's 15. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I <got> 12. <laughs> so half of you leaving here today, huh? Half an hour. Half an hour. Stay in motel? Yeah. Right now? Yeah, I think they're trying to stay in the hotel. Why are they in the hotel right now? They have babies. They have babies? Yeah. Oh, poor mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. But they could come here with babies. I didn't see anything. It's just inconvenient, right? Yeah, they didn't have a bring tent. They didn't bring tent? Oh, there's some, some room around here they could stay. <laughs> the one with the babies, they could stay in there, no? Nobody say anything? Did you stay in there? Okay, some of them Some of them Hotel. <laughs> Soft bed, no. Luxurious toilet paper. <laughs> Here everything is primitive. How about, did you stay uh, behind there? No. Where yeah. did you stay? We stay inside the house. Like you stay in the house. <laughs> wow. Who we'll stay in the house? Who we'll stay in the house? Right hand. How many people? That much only? Oh. We used to have more house if they, we squeezed the monks together, but you know because you came so so quickly, you know we didn't prepare, huh? So so you are the rest sleep in the car, yeah. the tough guy, huh? The tough guy sleep in the car. <laughs> how 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 was it? Is it okay? Yeah, nice. Does the mosquito love you a lot? Yeah. Huh? No mosquito, but they have a lot of love bugs now. <laughs> they also love to crawl all over. Uh huh. So some people sleep in this house, huh? Yeah. We could do something more if you stay longer, you know. We could squeeze or. Next time, just bring a tent, man. You come here, <laughs> just bring a tent. So easy, you know? This small tent, just put it as a hand pack, you know? And inside you can squeeze many things, you know, personal belonging, toothbrush and towel, and even one pair of pyjama or extra clothes. Yeah, one bag like that, you have everything, really. I could squeeze in 
two more pair of clothes. You know, this kind of, you know, simple one. Or if it's winter, you wear a, a thick trousers and put on a pillow inside or hang it on your shoulder. Then you're okay. You're set for a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, every day you change your clothes and wash it, no? And you have a tent, and inside the tent you can put toothbrush and towel, you know, simple towel, not the big luxurious one, you know, but the thin and simple, just enough, and a guanin cloth, you know. You can pack in that bag, no? Mm. Otherwise, just bring any tent. You also can squeeze a lot of things in a tent packet, no? Uh, you have enough. If you live simple, it's enough. Before, when I was uh, still a disciple, I, mean, I have never been a disciple, but <laughs> that's the name they call me at that time. <laughs> yeah, I, I went see many master, many teacher, and all of them love me as their disciples. <laughs> they love me so much. <laughs> Every of them, my God, they don't want to let me go. It's like more like possession, you know. <laughs> so when I left, they kind of disappointed, you know, feeling sad. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying, how convenient if you have just throw it in your car, you know. And last night you would have felt much better. And now you can also go in there. You should always have it ready, one or two pair of clothes ready with the tent together, you know, squeeze in there, simple for emergency use and extra toiletry stuff, I put in there any time you throw it. Oh, oh. <laughs> but you're too excited to remember, huh? Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah that, that happened. Mm. You came from last year already, but nothing happened. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, if you open a shop, you have to keep waiting, you know, <laughs> when a customer <laughs> comes. <laughs> Well, you can always do it in your backyard for fun as a practice. You know? oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Sweden, or in Switzerland, uh, all the citizens go once a year only to prepare for war, which never happened. <laughs> yeah. They always they have all guns and bunkers in there. Every house have a bunker that you could hide twen ten or twenty people in there. Depends on how big, but at least ten people live in there. All the provision ready for war. All the gun ready in the in the in the in this case, yeah, a wooden case for war, ready but never used. Only once a year they come out practice again. <laughs> yeah, just ready for war. <laughs> Nobody dare touch them. <laughs> They're too ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, just for war, and they're ready that much. They go through length and expanse, yeah, and timing. And for you, if you want to see me and you say you prepare only one year, that's not much. <laughs> not enough. Okay, not enough. Maybe next time I'll let you wait three years. <laughs> If you complain, it, it no. doubles. No, 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 no. You complain again, it triples. <laughs> 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 oh, time passed so quick, I don't even know. No, no. Yeah, look like, no, look, like look like ten years. Now. It's not true. Almost it's months. not true. <laughs> it's not true. You yeah. exaggerate. Yeah, you probably have some circumstances make you feel that you live longer. <laughs> yeah, there is a joke, you know, they say, there's a, there's a patient, this patient who went to the doctor, and the doctor diagnosed with, you know, terminal cancer, six months to live, no more. And the patient, of course, very devastated, and said, doctor, is there any way at all to lengthen my life? <laughs> yeah, the doctor said, yeah, but are you willing to take it? He said, yes, yes, anything <laughs> to make my life longer. Okay. I told you this joke already? No. No? no. no? You know? No. You know this joke? No. Yeah? Some of you maybe. So the doctor said, okay, you go out and find a widow with five hyperactive kids <laughs> and three unruly dogs and marry her. <laughs> and then move to Detroit. That's the joke. I'm not sure how Detroit is. <laughs> so. And then the patient said, marry a widow with f 
five hyperactive kids and three unruly dogs and move to Detroit, that will lengthen my life and make me life longer. Doctor say, no, no, but it does make you feel like <laughs> your life is longer. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe more. <laughs> if you don't believe this joke, you go try. <laughs> well, I don't think you have to move to Detroit. <laughs> you might end it before you get there. <laughs> might end your life already. <laughs> I don't know, just kidding, it's a bad joke. <laughs> don't believe in that. You never believe anything until you try it, okay? <laughs> so go home and try and tell me, <laughs> because I don't want to try it myself. <clears throat> All right, that's it, huh? End with happy notes, huh? Okay, see you and hope you live long. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>